Here is how low Schnipsit Lake is right now. This is like, I've never seen it this low before. We'll catch up on the other side of the lake real quick here after I uh, show you this next series of rocks. This is where the, the water usually goes up to the, to the wood line right here. Sometimes these trees are submerged. You can see a guy fishing down there. And that whole friggin' rock is completely out of the water exposed, which is just insane. So we're gonna go to the other side of the lake real quick, check it out. So here's the, uh, the fishing tree. Exposed pretty much. You can see the whole tree. <clears throat> and we're about to uh, head over to the other side of the lake. There's a heron. Right there. We're going to go over near the bridge over here. We'll take a look at that. The stop sign with the bridge. I think this might be the most striking. Um, in general, here, I'll just pull over real quick. Let's see. Scared away a heron. <clears throat> um, here is the rock that I was standing on when I caught that big um, pike. Or the pickerel, rather. I was standing on the tip of that and I hopped down and walked over here. The tripod <clears throat> was right here kind of looking this way. So maybe we can do like a before and after with this shot here. But I have never seen it like this. This is the inlet right now. Like this. Right there is the entire inlet for Schnipsit Lake. I think it's probably two and a half feet wide. You can see where I'm standing right now. You can see the old water line here. Where I'm standing, I would normally be under my, uh, over my head, for sure. I've never been able to stand this far out. You can almost walk across to the other side of the lake. Pretty crazy stuff, y'all. There's also like a billion of these tiny little frogs out here. There's like a bunch of herons. They're probably going nuts having a field day. Pretty nuts. Really is uh, something I've never seen before. 
to see it this low is really crazy. All right, y'all, peace.